tea from Frostbite. Oh yeah, jeez, it's been a minute, right? Yeah. I remember Leo too. He didn't say a like, Joker loses the matchup. He just said he personally gets frustrated fighting against uh, Pac-Man with Joker. So I, I wonder if that means much about how this matchup is. Like Joker has a lot of things he can do with Pac-Man, but it can be kind of frustrating in neutral if the Pac-Man has the hydrant set up. Yep. I mean, you get some nice coverage just alone from the hydrant, right? That's kind of forcing the Joker to be aerial. I mean, Pac-Man does have his the nair, right? This would be very good in that kind of scenario. Just it, even trying to stay away from Arsene. Pac-Man can kind of play that game. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Pac-Man actually has ridiculous ways to stall, especially off stage, uh, mm -hmm. when Arsene's active. It's actually really hilarious to see sometimes. Yeah. Oh, gotta watch it. That Tetra card is always ready to punish. Hey, look at that. All gone. All right? Mm -hmm. After all that, Arsene. And it wasn't like, like still had Kiwi in disadvantage that entire time for the most part. It just didn't matter. We were able to find the right, the right kind of kill. Mm -hmm. I love that. I was, chill it and it I was clean. Yeah, I was yeah. really good. Oh, Bell's gone though. Oh no. A little, yeah. little bit of time before Kiwi can charge for a killing uh, projectile, I think. Yeah. Oh, the back throw? Okay, by the back throw. There it is. That's all that the time. That means you get that charge. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And okay, I, can see, I can see the frustration setting in for Mercury right now. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. Oh. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That, it was active for so long. You have to just wait yeah. To go oh, oh yep. there's Apples. the Picard card, dude. Actually, I like Mercury's uh, use of the counter for projectiles. He's actually really smart about using that. We saw it against the DD match earlier. Mm. That's a really good snipe for me. Oh, oh just wow, see ya. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about having a good grab is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> His throw animations are actually so funny. Oh my god, please tech. Nah, it's hard on my uh, It's okay. <laughs> if anything, I think Kiwi could have actually taken that forward air uh, string uh, even farther since. Mercury missed attack every time. I think Pac-Man still gets a jab block if they miss. Oh, nice catch on the jump. Tiny sliver. Oh, oh no. Oh, did Kiwi try to like avoid the counter so they went a bad angle? I think that's what happened. I actually like the guns off stage versus Pac-Man's up beat, because if he gets all the hits, uh, it actually destroys the trampoline too. You can actually get a really early kill that way. Oh, deep back here. Dang. Mercury, man. After that SD from Kiwi, he just right ran away with the rest of that match. That was clean. Yeah. That was super good. Oh my god, here we go. Best Ness in chat talking about having bands on set. <laughs> freaking side bet fiend. Shout What's out to doing? Best Ness. Yo, He's got bands on the set. <laughs> yo, yo, Spencer's a goon, man. He is a goon. Yo, he, actually, up, he, he won three big tournaments in a row, though, so he's trying to double his money or something. Hey, man. His stream was, his I res stream was I respect hype. that, man. Sometimes you got to understand, man. <laughs> yeah, spend money to make money, man. That is true. I like it. Your, true. your stream was hype for that tournament you won yesterday. Versus uh, the villager player. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not reading it. Three, two, one. 
2, we're back on PS2. That is the, uh... For Kiwi. Kiwi uh, has a good play style for dealing with with uh, zoning matchups. It seems he's like oh yeah like there he's already ready with the rebels guard and projectile. He's really good at playing patient. Has good movement as well with Joker, so he just can kind of weave around the projectiles pretty well. There it is with the Macar kind too. It's like yeah, I don't I don't even care. I'll just reflect this hydrogen every time. I think that's really interesting to see, because a lot of jokers, when they get a hit, they rather just push advantage a lot of times, but uh, he will just wait and see if he can get like, a reset or like a reflect. It works pretty well versus Pac-Man, I'll say. Nice. Look at the- I like how he used that hydrant, and then he kind of followed it to see how Kiwi was going to react, having to hold shield against the hydrant. But also having to worry about uh, extra pressure from Joker. There's a lot to like consider yep. there. Yeah, that was really good. He even did a good angle to send the hydrant too with the down tilt. Because it does change depending on what move you uh, hit it with. So that was a really good first stock from Mercury. Yeah, I don't know where he's from, but someone said he's a ranked player where, wherever he's from, so. He's showing right now. <laughs> Oh, I like the gun usage too. This is, uh, he is chipping out this Pac-Man. <laughs> I really like to see this. This is, uh, the reverse zoning. Oh, big, big punish with the forward smash on the neutral getup. Now we have a two-stock lead. Arsene's coming real soon. This is not what you want <laughs> as a Kiwi right now. If anything, he can get, like, a good 60% on this stock before dying. Yeah. I think that's what he's looking for here. Yeah, a little recover. Kiwi with the setup here, the bell, oh, and the forward you smash. Yep. That's a good one to actually read because it's a projectile and you throw it forward. So if he would have neutral get up, it would have done some shield pressure there and given Kiwi some time, even if he missed the forward smash. Oh. Trying to foot snipe. Oh, but the tether going from so deep to recover. Nice punch on the Rebels guard. Oh, but our sins out to play. Let's see what Kiwi can do to mitigate this. Nah, he's really good awareness right now for Mercury though. Continue to yeah. play patient. He doesn't have to over approach. He kind of wow. has a lead here, but he also has the speed to like try to whiff punish Kiwi for any option that Kiwi might be going for. Yeah, I actually didn't know you could reflect the water too. That's actually pretty good because you can get state control. Because Pac-Man will get pushed to the other side of the stage. Nice. Good pressure from, from take aim. Enough to go for the grab, go for the back throw. Stage positioning into Mercury's hands. And I like it because at this point here, Mercury is looking to try to play around Kiwi as much as possible, seeing where the Hydrant was. Yeah. Oh, for a cheeky angle with that up smash on the Hydrant. Oof. Mercury's just really falling for it, but... Is a back throw? Yeah, okay. no let's on back throw. Nice. Swinging in that extra low tether recovery just to avoid the fire hydrant. Yeah, Mercury's even got around that tricky hydrant setup too with the key. Yeah, 132. He is literally about to have meter activated here. Kiwi's yeah. next hit has oh, to be. Oh, never mind. Is. Never mind. Yeah, I was going to say Kiwi's next hit has to be the one that takes the stock or it's going to have to be about our sand. But. Oh, oh no. Oh. A little late on the draw there. Yeah. Yeah, look at that spacing that Mercury can just pull out there. Yeah, neutral get up. You still got that invincibility back air, not enough. Oh, that was good, Makarakar. Simply because he was worried about, okay, he might throw the projectile that sets off the hydrant, and I can reflect both of those things with this reflect. Yeah, honestly, a lot. It seems a lot of times he's not even fishing for the kill, and he gets our sink. He just wants the threat of being able to reflect projectile. Oh, the extender. Hip-hop! Oh, man, that really oh, hurt. So I'm sad. sorry. Damn. Yo, Mercury, uh, I don't know if he has a Pac-Man in his region, but he he knows everything that Pac-Man is trying to do in this matchup. Yeah, that this is actually... actually really good gameplay for Joker right now. 
like, yeah, that hitbox extension from the forward smash is really big on my gym, but also really good to see that there's only one place that Q was going, and that was good for Q for Mercury to just call that out immediately with forward smash. We talked about how forward smash is a really good startup, decent enough cooldown for Joker that Joker can still react after forward smash. It's ridiculous. Yeah. This will make this character so top tier. And I'll say it, man, I know there's some people who don't believe me, but I do agree Joker is most definitely the best character in the game. Yeah, I think so, too. But uh, Pikachu's really good as well. Yeah. Definitely one of those characters that doesn't get really... It's something the character isn't strong. It's just not as prominent in the meta. We only have a few strong Pikachu representations. Honestly, I'm, I apologize to other people who I don't know who they all are. But that just goes to show, you know, there's not a lot of notable Pikachus out there putting in work. Aside from yeah. Nissan, of course. There's, yeah, yeah. There's a few. I just can't think of the top of my head right now. But yeah, the difficulty of Pikachu is uh, what really stops a lot of people from playing the character, even though it's so good. Yeah. It's a, it's a, high, it's a character that's really, really difficult to just... You can't just pick up and play Pikachu. It's a character you have to actively learn. Some characters are easier to start off with, and other characters are really difficult to learn. Yeah. All right, well, Mercury did say he is in the middle of choosing a stage. That was two games on Pokemon Stadium, too. Where, I mean, I would imagine that. Oh, Kiwi changing yeah. fighter, or maybe Mercury. Mercury, I'll give you a dollar if you go suffer off. Oh, Kirby? Oh. Okay. I forgot this was her original name before. Kirby, huh? See, this makes a little bit of sense. Kirby is like that uh, low profile archetype that Joker doesn't really like to fight. Still, he can play around it. He still has tools to deal with it, but it can be a little frustrating. Yeah. Only Kirby, only uh, Kiwi knows what Kiwi is doing at this specific moment, and there's a reason why Kiwi is in top eight. So, I like Kiwi do what Kiwi does. Yeah, we see a lot from uh, Jejo's Kirby lately doing really well. I personally don't think Kirby's super good, but uh, he can still do some things if the opponent's not, you know, playing well or respecting Kirby's options, especially a good Kirby. Nice down tilt. That down tilt trip rate is really high. It almost makes you feel like it will trip every time. Oh, most definitely. You have to really respect Kirby, especially because Kirby is in that low profile. And like you said, it can be really useful against a character like Joker. Or having low profiling in this game in general is really strong. Yeah, but Joker's moves like, he doesn't have a lot of them that hit really low. Oh my goodness. That was such barely missed because of Kirby going low. So yeah, that's what makes it really uh, difficult. I think Curry might even be able to crouch a back air too from Joker, like back air spacing. All right, right now, looking good for Kiwi. Yeah, I'm most I think, definitely looking I good think, for Kiwi. I think Kirby can even go low on Tether as well and like hit Joker out of that to get extra yeah. guards. Having those multiple jumps is so big for Kiwi. Yeah, this is a completely different matchup too from Pac-Man. So uh, Mercury really has to adjust right now. Yeah, he went for that uh, that up smash, trying to claw the jump. Kiwi punched it perfectly, using that platform assist as well. Already going a little bit better than the Pac-Man. Oh, back at the ledge though. Nice trade. Yeah, he's, even that floaty weight as well, it can be difficult for Joker to get some uh, decent combos on too, at certain percentages. <laughs> Kiwi with such a strong lead with this Kirby here. Oh, that was scary. Man, that was such a scary drop zone there. I think if Kiwi was ready, she could have uh, did a downer on that. I was actually surprised he's not going for more downers, especially on Arson's uh, up here. Oh, on top of the stone? Yeah, and you he have to be really good. Yeah, you have to really be aware of when you go for stone, just because you have to do it at a specific height. In which you can cancel out of it. If not, you will just drop down and you die. Mm -hmm. All right, take that first stock. So this is a uh, great for Kiwi. Huge lead. 
Oh, if that down tilt trip that time, I think down tilt four smash was was it. Nope, no less trump. Excellent back out of the shield to punish that cross up from the dash attack. Mm -hmm. Typical Joker option, you would see. Alright. Okay. Strong. I like that ledge jump attempt here, but unfortunately, you're just missing it. Back throw, not enough. Kiwi with stage control. I like that. She is not letting up. Mm -hmm. I've seen playing really well around the RC2. There's that Nair out of shield. That was one of Curry's moves that actually got a uh, knockback buff as well. So, these are kill moves for Curry to uh, go for now. And uh, this is where things are kind of scary. Uh, you don't want to get a low percent cop. Nice. Look for a little bit of compositioning here. Kiwi with an up tilt. That's again forward. I think that's what Kiwi's old. Alright, Mercury building up that arson. Excellent with the backer here. Nice Nair just to keep up the pressure, but Mercury does have those multiple jumps, but not enough height from the cutter. Alright, I like that from Kiwi. Taking time at the Angel platform just to buy off the meter from the arson. Up throw up air. A second attempt, that's big damage. And like that, Mercury has such a commanding lead here. 39 over 22. I wouldn't say commanding lead per se, but lead enough to definitely put Kiwi to put into some things into consideration. Nice. Excellent dash dancing there, trying to look for a little positioning, but trying to understand how Kiwi is going to react out of shield. Spot dodge is going to be called out into the rapid jab. Kiwi with stage control, almost the back air. This a forward throw? Yep. Mercury now with stage control sets up the back air. But Kiwi on the final cutter there. For the recovery. Really good to call it an opponent too. Very similar to Cloud, but there is the stone not enough. Kiwi is very excellent at canceling that out. I think Mercury was looking for a ledge from back air, but I narrowly missed it. Back air. Rar back. Yeah. Good for Mercury just to look for the ledge jump, and just like that, Kiwi losing best? to Mercury, which originally was a match that Kiwi started off so strong. But Mercury, understanding how it was going to work once Arson was activated, is able to take it for the day. Moving on to winner's finals.